Although some people consume bread only when they are sick, bread is a staple food in many countries. In fact, it is an easy and regular breakfast in many houses. We often see green or black patches on bread. This is nothing but spoiling of bread due to the growth of microorganisms called fungi or molds. So, what are the factors responsible for the growth of mold on bread? The first factor is moisture. We know that bread is made inside an oven. Even though it is made at a high temperature, the center of the bread contains little moisture which eventually spreads throughout. This slightly moist environment is perfect for mold growth. Additionally, if moisture or water is accidentally added to the bread which is kept open, it is prone to spoilage. The second factor is nutrients. Bread is rich in carbohydrates or sugars which encourages the growth of molds. The third factor is temperature. Bread provides a warm temperature which is ideal for mold growth. So what are these molds? The molds are microscopic fungi belonging to different species like Penicillium, Rhizopus, Aspergillus, Fusarium, etc. We have heard of penicillin antibiotic, right? This antibiotic is extracted from a mold called Penicillium. Coming back to molds, the molds are of different colors and shapes based on the species. These molds reproduce by means of spores that are circulating in the air. When a suitable substrate such as bread is found, these spores settle on them and start growing. Let us take an example of a mold called Rhizopus stolonifer, which is commonly known as black mold. It is the most common and fast growing bread mold, hence it is often the first mold to appear on the stale bread. As I told already, spores of Rhizopus stolonifer start germinating when they settle on bread. Let us zoom in a bread slice to see what is happening. Initially. The mold spreads over the surface producing hyphae. Some hyphae penetrate inside the bread forming rhizoids that help in anchorage or attachment of the mold with the bread. Rhizoids absorb nutrients from the bread by releasing digestive enzymes. The mold produces aerial hyphae called sporangiophores. These sporangiophores produce a bulb at their tip called sporangia. Numerous spores are produced inside these sporangia which are released into the surroundings at their maturity. The process continues and the whole process takes about 5 to 7 days. This eventually spoils the bread, making it unfit for consumption. So, is it safe to consume the moldy bread? No. Though some part of the bread appears unspoiled, it is not good to consume unspoiled part or remaining slices of spoiled bread because it contains invisible fungal hyphae which produce spores in the future. If we eat this, it can cause asthma and allergic reactions. They also produce toxic byproducts called mycotoxins which are carcinogenic or cancer causing. <laughs>